Hello and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are going to be going over the Nauticus Incorporated Smart Tab system for the Yamaha jet boats. And I worked with this company to develop this system with the low profile struts so that we are able to place them underneath the swim deck and they perform phenomenally. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review with some live action shots. So what you're seeing here is the wake at the low speed, minimum speed. I'm doing about six miles per hour with the trim tabs on. If you notice the water is a little bit choppier, that's because again, these tabs are lifting your rear end up out of the water to keep your bow down. And what it does is this keeps your boat at a more steady plane. That way when you cross another wake or you have some kind of current or waves, created in the water it keeps your boat level and steady as you go along and in this shot what you're seeing here is around 10 miles per hour if you can see the wake is actually much more uniform um, it looks surfable to me but I will let you make that call yourself the wake is much cleaner and at this time your bow is holding at a steady position although you're still having nose up attitude just because of the low speed now at this point I'm going about 11 12 miles per hour and picking up speed and it's bringing the bow down for me and you can see the wake get further back in a way as I go now here you'll see me start to pick up speed and get onto plane one thing I noticed about this is that even though jet boats get on plane fast already without trim tabs this creates a higher top end because what it is doing is it's actually lifting your rear end up out of the water so your stern where the majority of your boat face that's in the water is causing your drag is actually being lifted up even though your bow's going down we have a deep v so you're getting less surface touching the water than you would without the tabs this increased my top speed one to two miles per hour and it also helped with my fuel efficiency. I burned a lot less fuel in the hour that I was going with these tabs full speed than I ever have before. So I absolutely love this product so far. In this clip you can see me crossing a much larger boat's wake. Now before I would porpoise through those wakes but you could see how that bow just stayed right down and leveled right back out right away and that was a pretty big wake watch this boat coming across me hitting those waves and porpoising without trim tabs same type of center console boat same size without trim tabs and I just go right over his wake with the cross wake and not only does it keep my bow down through another wake on this boat as well but if you see the side to side track it keeps the boat from rocking hard left to right as well because these systems are actuators that are constantly adapting to the sea conditions so if you have more pressure on one side of your boat and less on the other they automatically apply pressure to keep your boat tracking straight and as smooth as possible now in this clip here you can see I'm now out in the Gulf and the sea state today was two to three foot waves and the interval was uh, three seconds between crest to crest so it was a pretty choppy day and in this shot right now I'm actually going into the waves head-on um, with the wind in my face as well so the roughest possible conditions possible and uh, it tends to pull the boat back down it's actually keeping the spray off the boat a lot better as well and as you can tell the camera is staying dry whereas before I was in the same sea states and when I would hit those waves, I'd have all kinds of water come over the bow, especially like two to three foot waves. But the greatest thing about this is I'm only doing about 18 to 20 miles an hour right now, which is usually with that kind of sea state rocking you back and forth and nose diving into the next crest coming down. And this kind of keeps your boat planed out pretty well so that you stay on top of these waves much more instead of in between them and you can tell that from this video here now in this clip I'm heading back inshore from the Gulf I am still out in the Gulf but in this option I am riding with the wind at my back and coming from the rear side of the waves the sea state is still the same all I did was go out a few miles and then turn back around 
and you can tell just how clean this ride is and now I'm doing about 25 miles an hour as well um, I'm not getting any kind of like crazy spray I'm basically surfing these waves instead of just like dropping down into them or jumping up off of them which was another issue that I used to have before these tabs so it's amazing how these work and I'm very impressed in this aerial shot, I want you to pay attention to how clean the wake has become now on this boat. Tubing, skiing, and water sports are going to be much more beneficial now as it is more uniform, more clean, and le less jet spray. Now in this final shot, I did a little tracking with my drone from behind and I just want you to keep an eye on how this wake looks. It's much more uniform now and it also keeps the boat so smooth even at low speed you can tell that my bow is being held down it is not with a high nose up attitude even at these lower speeds where you used to have that and then as you progress the wake actually looks like a clean wake from an outboard motor which is rare for jet boats it also helps tremendously at maintaining speed in turns, whereas before these trim tabs, when I went into a turn or a sharp angle, I would lose speed. I would lose miles per hour while my RPM stayed up. And with these trim tabs, I am able to cut hard turns now and still maintain speed. I think I only saw a one to two mile per hour difference, whereas before I could be going 40, plus miles an hour and drop all the way down to 30 and I think the lowest I saw on my turns today was about 38 miles per hour and that was from a 40 mile per hour speed so the boat tracks better you can let go of the steering wheel and basically the boat will just stay straight unless there's an undercurrent or something pulling you but it keeps the boat level it keeps the boat straight it keeps the boat from porpoising you get a higher top end you get better handling all around whether you're crossing wakes your speed in your turns and your tracking it gets on plane faster at lower speeds which is great for tubing and skiing it also feels more stable when you're in the boat and driving it um, you're not fighting the steering wheel as much anymore in conditions and it creates a better neutral which was surprising to me because I never thought that was gonna be a factor because our boats tend to creep forward but now when you put this boat in neutral with that little big of drag from those trim tabs being down the boat tends to stay still I barely move forward at all well I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I have enjoyed making it and again I highly recommend this kit the manufacturer and myself are working on putting these kits together and they should be available for a group buy soon on the Yamaha Jet Boaters Facebook page. If you are not on there, feel free to reach out to me or the company Nauticus Incorporated and we will get you squared away. And as always, I'll see you out on the water.